All right, sticking with weather and right now, no end in sight as firefighters battle California's largest single wildfire in recorded history, and it is still raging right now. Meteorologist Gerard Jabaley is here. So, Gerard, how is the firefight going? Nicole, over 6,000 personnel are joining the fight, but it is still a major struggle for them. The Dixie Fire is burning through over half a million acres or 800 square miles. Put that into perspective. That's larger than Los Angeles and New York City combined. And it's only about 30% contained since it started about a month ago. Now, smoke from the fires is also limiting visibility throughout much of the West and including parts of the central region as well. And officials have been directing evacuations by uh, giving some directions on where to go. Some of those routes have been blocked by the fires, and the situation there is changing every day. Some other things to note, Nicole, the drought in the West in the past couple of years isn't just stoking these massive fires. It's also impacting so many farmers. Washington state is seeing wheat crops absolutely devastated and officials estimate this year's crop will produce nearly 50 million less bushels than last year. And unfortunately, very little rain is expected across five of those hardest hit states. And in Arizona, the Colorado River has been a go to source of water, but mandatory cuts from the river starting next week as the reservoirs have fallen to historic lows. It's expected to make, uh, of course, drought conditions for these farmers just barely uh, able to get through with uh, so much of that livestock and other crops that are just making it so much harder to deal with. Nicole?